propagation through time in LSTM. These are input, these are weights, multiplication here, processing some activation function in the hidden layer. Then again, process these three terms, these three parts are called short term. Then it will connect it to with each other. It will create create long short term memory. Okay. And either I, I, in the final different output layer, okay, we are pro providing different text. For a if it is a one line, if it is a second line, this is the third line, third sentence. The whole sentence will be connected, provide as a whole text. LSTM. Back propagation through time. We call it back propagation through time because we are repeating this process at each time stamp. If observed carefully, this will, uh, this is similar to the normal back propagation process. You can use this uh, pictorial representation of uh, LSTM's cell. This is previous layer, this is next layer, and this is current cell, current layer. This all layer are hidden layer, right? but a single single node or you can say cell of uh, the hidden layer, three hidden layer are kind of creating a short term memory, which is connected through forward and backward pass. So data are again mm -hmm. provided. Okay? The user will say that this is not correct. So again, all the data which is provided previously, it will be used re again, reused. Okay. So the LSTM cell back propagation is different from the RNN because it, in each time stamp during back propagation, the values of the input gate, uh, forget gate, and output gate should be updated. Okay. Values mean weights will be updated. So which word is important, which is not important, we have to making some combination. 